Welcome to Manor Park Classics and today we are in the company of a 986 Porsche Boxster and this was the car that really saved Porsche back in the late 1990s and in a way it also revitalized Porsche showing them the direction they were meant to go in and really brings them straight to where we are now in 2024. So a little bit of history and back in the 1970s Porsche decided that they were going to move away from the traditional rear engine 911 layout and the silhouette as well. In 1975 or so they launched the Porsche 924 which was a it was a co-development with Volkswagen and that car had a front mounted water cooled four cylinder engine rear wheel drive with a transaxle at the back and it was a low two seat coupe body very much as you'd expect and three years later in 1978 they launched the 928 which was very much the same thing but with very avant-garde modern styling and a big thumping v8 at the front now the idea was that the 928 was going to replace the 911 but as the 1980s progressed they started to realize that the 911 is porsche that's what they stand for and so the 928 brilliant as it was was not long for this world Despite living since 1963, the original 911 was replaced in 1989 by the Porsche 964. Now, of course, that car was still called the 911, but its internal code was now 964. That car was then replaced by the 993 in 1994. But in the mid-1990s, Porsche were looking directionless again. Yes, they had the 911, but the 968 by this point that replaced the 924 and 944 and the 928 were still being produced and they were ready to get on the chopping block in 1995. 1996 saw this car come along and rather than shy away from that traditional 911 1960s silhouette, they embraced it with the Boxster. This car replaced the 924, 944, 968 line of cars as Porsche's entry level model. And rather than all the ones that came before it were front engine and rear wheel drive and a traditional body, this was always a mid engine, rear wheel drive, two seat convertible that was styled to look like the 911. In many ways, this was a retro styled Porsche in 1996 what a phenomenally good looking and instantly recognizable car. So as we all know, the 911 was a traditional rear engine car and that meant that it naturally couldn't have the ideal balance. The Boxster may have emulated its styling, but the Boxster is mid-engined, which means that it has theoretically a better balance than a 911 and it means you also get a little bit of boot space at the back. But unlike the 924, 944 and 968 that came before, this has a proper Porsche engine, a flat six. But unlike the Porsche flat sixes of before, this is water cooled and it filtered through to the 996, 911 that came along the year later. And so did the styling with the slightly controversial runny egg headlamps. And that car made a lot of people question what Porsche were doing. You see, for 30 odd years, the 911 had existed as it was, essentially. It may have gone through a few extra iterations by the end, but it was always air-cooled, flat six, very, very traditional styling. But 1996, 97 saw them rip up the rule book. And the Boxster was the foundation for that that was then built on later. So as a result, I think a lot of people look down on the Boxster as a, a poor mind 911, and secondly, as the car that started Porsche moving away from its tradition. But as far as I'm concerned, it's a great looking thing. And now we're 25 years on, these things are really starting to appreciate. So I thought we'd put the top up and head out quickly because it's Britain, it started raining. <laughs> and this car with its flat six engine is not a normal Boxster, this is a Boxster S. And that means this engine is 3.2 litres up from the two and a half of the original. And that means 250 brake horsepower. Now, of course, that doesn't sound like an awful lot when compared to the supercars of today, but that means 0 to 60 in 5.9 seconds. And what that means with this car is not only does it have that brilliant balance, but it has enough power to feel fast 
but not too much power as to be silly when you're trying to enjoy yourself on the public road. I feel that's the curse with a lot of modern day performance cars that you can't really extend them because, well, quite frankly, you're gonna be going a silly speed, whereas with this, you can still get quite a lot of fun out of it and you don't need to be going at silly speeds. <laughs> I love that flat six whale. It's such a characterful, such a recognizable noise. I love six cylinder engines anyway. They're just my kind of poison. But yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal fun. What it does do, however, which I didn't quite expect, is that it feels very two-stage. It feels like it comes on cam at about 3,000 RPM, where it goes from being you know, very tractable, but also very quiet, very peaceful, and just very drivable. To then just come into life like that. <laughs> And I love this interior as well. I'm gonna to have to show you a picture of it because this is the kind of dashboard that ended up in the 996, 911, which again was quite controversial because it wasn't like a traditional 911 dashboard, but I love the fact that you've got little CD slots in the center, the very, very 90s. And these gauges in front of you, so instantly recognizable Porsche. Of course, the rev counter is in the middle with a red line of over 7,000 RPM. But the overwhelming feeling you get from the platform is of just how sure-footed it is. It just feels so confidence-inspiring right from the get-go. The car kind of shrinks around you and it just kind of starts to become one with your body. You've always got that flat six whale on tap behind you for if and when you need it. The other thing that impresses me is how there is weight behind everything. So in the steering, yes, it's actually quite delicate, much more delicate than you might expect for a car from the 90s, but there it is and there's weight to it as well and there's weight to the pedals and the brake and throttle are beautifully positioned for heel and toe. <laughs> what a lovely thing. It's just a nice car. That's the best thing you can say about something where it just shrinks around you and you just immediately feel at home. There's nothing particularly alien about this car. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyable little thing.